Hi there and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. Uh, today we're going to be going over what I'm going to call a 2017 buyer's guide for the ThinkPad X220 series. Uh, this guide will give you some tips and tricks if you're looking to purchase this particular laptop used or other laptops that were kind of released around the same time frame. Uh, there are some things that are very specific to Lenovo uh, machines that I'll be discussing here and also talking to you about how this one was acquired. Uh, I have two of these machines now. Uh, I've got one over here running Linux and this one here is uh, literally fresh uh, from the used shop. I went in there looking for something else and you know how things go. Sometimes you walk out with something you didn't intend to get. Uh, but there were a couple of things that caught my eye with this particular one. You'll notice that it has a battery hump or the nine cell uh, batteries versus the uh, six cell, which uh, fits flush to the unit. So the first thing to physically look at is to make sure that it is in good condition, that there aren't any damages uh, to any of the ports, that nothing is out of place, bent, gnawed. The second thing, of course, is to check to make sure that there is uh, no damage uh, to the keyboard. You check around the edges for built-up dirt, perhaps dried out liquids, uh, things like that. You obviously want to make sure that the hinges are in good shape, and then you want to start working your way around the edges of the machine. So going up the sides, uh, across the top, around the corners, and what you're actually looking for is to see if the machine has been dropped. With these particular machines, when they drop, they kind of drop corner down normally. Unless it's like a unique situation where it goes up over top. And there's no sign of foul play anywhere, with the exception of this corner right here has a chip. And there's one other thing that people uh, that are very familiar with these machines will notice that's a bit different about this one is there are normally uh, rubber caps covering these screws. You don't normally see them. So the fact that these have been exposed means that they've been removed. If we've got a damaged corner up here, these two have, uh, covers have been removed. That means that the screen has been serviced, or in this case, replaced. And that's not a bad thing, because the original TN panel on these is not very good. And the panel that's in here, although I don't know if it's a full, uh, proper brand new panel, it's certainly better uh, than the one that I have in the other machine. They had a Windows 10 operating system on this, which is not native. This was designed only to run with 7. And I looked at the system information. Everything checked out except the RAM. Uh, there was twice as much RAM in here as the sticker, uh, sticker price indicated. Um, but scanning code of practice means that if that's what they've priced it at, um, that's what I have to sell it at. So, uh, doing a little bit of digging, I found uh, four extra gigs of RAM at no cost. Now, let's talk about this battery for a second because this is a need to know. And unfortunately, most sellers online do not show you what battery is included. You want to see the number 44 plus or 44 plus plus here. If you don't, that means that you've got a really old battery. For example, all the other ones at the shop that I was at were 29s. Now this 29 I got with my original X220 and it died in a couple of months. Uh, the 29 series is the older generation of batteries and you'll notice here that I've got a piece of tape that says no charge. And I actually had to go and buy a 44 plus so I could continue to charge and, and use uh, the battery. So. Um, these batteries, generally speaking, are going to be found at around 70% lifespan left. The 29s are going to be lower than that. And the 29s have a much higher failure rate when it comes to longevity. Screen, RAM, nicer battery. Uh, everything else is in good condition. Came with a 320 gig aftermarket drive. And I know it's aftermarket because they didn't put Western Digital Blue drives in here. 
and the date of manufacture of the drive doesn't match the manufacture date of the rest of the components in the computer. Everything else is 2011. Uh, that one in particular drive is 2013, which would have been several years after uh, these had stopped being made. A couple other things that you can look out for uh, when you're trying to track these down. They came in essentially two popular uh, CPU configurations, the i5 and the i7. The fastest way to identify it just by looking at the exterior case is the i7s uh, came with one of the USB port was USB 3.0 on the i7s. The i5s did not have uh, USB 3.0. So if none of your USB ports are blue, then that means that the motherboard inside is definitely running an i5 and not an i7. Just one of those things that you can look out for. Uh, there was a very small run of these that got uh, fingerprint readers, but that's uh, kind of neither here nor there. One of the beautiful parts about these machines is that they're very modular, you can take apart pretty much everything down to the motherboard and replace it. So if you really wanted fingerprint reader, you can go and get a replacement palm rest, pop it in there, there you go. Uh, same thing with RAM, that's replaceable. Uh, CPU is soldered onto the board. We are gonna be doing a video shortly on a teardown of this particular machine uh, to upgrade and service uh, the internal components to get it ready for its new owner. I've got some parts though that need to be mailed to me before I can begin to do that work. But hopefully this remains to be kind of like a really quick and dirty guide if you're looking um, for an X220 in the year 2017 or later on, just a few different things that uh, you can look for or be aware of when you go to purchase it.